Hello, hello. Where's my game? Come on, there it is. I forgot to do that earlier. Sick Valtzen, thank you for the coffee. Trucker King 2010, thank you for the coffee. Or well, uh, super chat. One of those things. Oops. Yeah, I got the game paused. So. Well, let's just start with some shout outs for some folks that are already here. We will start with, I don't know if he was the first one in, but he sometimes, well, you know what? Thor was the first one in, that I can see anyway. Um, we will give a shout out to Thor Rasmussen. Thor is our top driver for Euro Truck Simulator. Um, let's see, David Singh, I don't remember if you're on this list or the other one. See, I struggled with this in the last live stream. Um, 
There it is. David Singh. Uh, I kept trying to find Bob Mc... Uh, Mc oh my god, now I can't even remember his name. Bob! McFiggin. McFiggin! God. So, I couldn't find Bob McFiggin on my little list. And as it turns out, we sorted it out at the end when we were watching the credit stream, the credits roll. <laughs> he, he's a drive van hauler. That's why I couldn't find him on my list for reefer haulers and, and flatbedders. So, yeah, that was kind of silly on my part. So, uh, Rick Rashid is in the house. He doesn't get a shout out, but he does, sort of, because he is our second place winner for American Truck Simulator. Well, third. But the second place winner deferred to him because the second place winner um, was unable to take advantage of the the prize. Uh, withered Bon Bon Game. So the, the easiest way and the recommended way is to what? Euro not ATS. What I say? Rick Rashid, Euro Truck Simulator. My bad. Um, Withered Bond Bond Games. Join the Discord. Link in the description below. And I mean, you can go straight to join the uh, uh, the VTC. But in order to get access to these custom truck skins, you have to join the Discord. So let me get back to doing shout outs. Colin, welcome. David Singh, I think I already checked you off. Susan Arthur is in the house. I understand, Susan, you may have to bug out at some point. Hopefully you can get back. And even if you don't, don't worry about it. As I said on the Discord, you do not have to be present to win the drawing. But it'd be awesome to have you here. So, Trucker King 2010 in the house. Lurch is in the, the Discord moderating. You rang. We did. I see Ulysses S. Grant. Yes, Trucker King has infinite money. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to speak for him. <laughs> oh. So, let's see. Yeah, by all means, buy that coffee. I should offer coffee I'm in my store. That's what I shoot. Ace the driver. Ace the driver too. Um, haven't you been here before? Sigvaldson. I think you must be a... I guess I'm going to start putting that list on here uh, for dry van haulers. Because I get confused. Justin Burns. I know which list you're on. Justin Burns gets a shout out. Doesn't mean I'm going to find his name, but I, I know it's on here. Um, meanwhile, Matthew Roth, he gets a shout out. I know where his is. Got that checked off. So Justin Burns, Justin Burns, Justin Burns, where are you? No way. Didn't I find him last time without difficulty? I don't know what you're talking about, unlimited money. <laughs> there he goes again, folks. Super chat from Trucker King, who does not, contrary to popular belief, have unlimited money. Justin Burns, I gotcha. This list is just so long. Uh, Withered Bonbon bon Games, that is a Discord requirement. Well, it's a Discord requirement that I utilize to keep out bots and trolls. Don't, yeah, so. A, a tip from Trucker King, he's just trying to get his name in all the boxes up at the top of the screen. He'd, he'd have his name in that first one too, if he, if he wasn't concerned about unsubscribing. Bedrock is in the house. Are you still farming Bedrock? What else we got? Je Wait, what? Jennifer Roth? 
Is that someone new? I don't remember that name before. Any relation to Matthew Roth? Now I'm confused. And, <laughs> and, I already forgot what I was going to say. Joined one day ago. I didn't see that earlier. I mean, that doesn't mean I don't miss things, but welcome. Welcome to the adventure. Huh. Well, that caught me off guard. Not that that's hard to do. So. Uh, I'll have to sort that out. I didn't even look to see what level. Oh, excuse me. Reefer hauler. All right. We like having more reefer haulers so I can call out more names. Added to my ever growing list. Matthew Roth. That's your wife. Well, that's awesome that your wife is here watching you watch me. <laughs> oh, you paid for her membership. Awesome. Does she know? Is she here? Dwayne Lawson, welcome to the stream. Uh, you know, I'm enjoying the new truck from SES as well. All right, let's get started. Adam, welcome. I just noticed that you were here. Hood Jones... Junior. Yes, I am here. Awesome. Glad to have everybody here. Let's talk about what's going on today. So we have this pretty awesome truck. Never thought I'd say that about a Western Star, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, I put on a lot of miles. If I remember, when I, once I get in, I'll look at the odometer and see what I've got so far. I've only been driving it couple of days maybe th maybe three days and uh, by the way all of the mods that I'm using are in the description below are listed in the description below there are even some links in the description below Ooh, I don't need that third axle down we'll raise that up Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing some driving around. Now, we're in Tucson, Arizona, where I just delivered a load that I brought from Medford, Oregon during the last live stream. Nice long run, almost 1,200 miles, so that was kind of nice. And uh, it's been a long time since I did a nice long run like that in a live stream, and it was fun, at least for me. It was relaxing. We had to see a lot of scenery. Outback Jack is in the house. Let me get Outback Jack checked off. Um, I don't know where we're going. Whenever we get going, I haven't got that far into things yet. But we are at this uh, Volvo dealership once we... I just did a 10-hour break. Once we get done here, we're going to get some fuel, get our load. I don't know if we'll do it in that sequence. But we will do those things. Later, after we uh, make the run, we have two drawings to conduct. So for the January uh, winners of the virtual trucking company our results let me go back up here and where I can see all this so as a company we placed 14th out of all of the companies for American Truck Simulator and we had well over 745,000 miles for Euro Truck Simulator we place 138th of all companies. 
there is much more competition in Euro Truck Simulator than there is for American Truck Simulator. Our crew collectively logged over 635,000 kilometers. That's a lot. Our top driver for ATS in January was Dirty Dog, or we call or well, Dusty, but we, you know, Dirty Dog in here. Or no, Dusty in here, AKA Dirty Dog, whatever. Anyway, he logged 72,251 miles. It's no coincidence that he's now struggling to get over a really nasty cold. <laughs> I think he put in a lot of time on top of his job. So he will, as first place prize, he will be getting a handcrafted custom Boomers Trucknado or Trans Trucknado Transport truck skin. And by the way, that's what that is. That's mine. So we all have some. RD Maynard, Maynard 57. Welcome to the adventure. I'm just going to call you Maynard. I think I called you that before. Welcome. Um, so most all the trucks have certain things. Like they've got the BTT shield. They've got the truck NATO on the side. They've got the name of the company on the side. Some other information and stickers. The number up there by the mirror, 001, that is my... My driver number is my employee number in the company. So whatever your number is, that's what will be on your custom truck skin. I've also got a sticker on the back that says, buy me a coffee. Bedrock, Bedrock just gifted a membership. Who's All the right. recipient? Rip Rashid. <laughs> Repeat offender. Yes. And this is what I have on the roof of my truck. Um, the name of my ch YouTube channel and the Trucknado logo. And there goes Trucker King. Casmified. <laughs> you get a membership. You get a membership. You get a membership. <laughs> yes. Another repeat offender. So, um, now in order to have access to these custom skins, or, well, even the public ones that we give to all the members, or all of the uh, uh, members of the VTC, you do have to be in my Discord. So you have to go through that process. How about a sticker that says, Coffee makes me happy? Well, that's a good idea, actually. Or one that says, save, save a life, buy me a coffee. <laughs> that, that might have to be wolves, though. Anyway, so in order to have access to this stuff, you do have to be a member of my Discord. So, oh, back to the stats. So um, our top driver for Euro Truck Simulator 2 in January was Thor who's in the house right now, was 78,343 kilometers. That's pretty darn good. Second place driver for American Truck Simulator was, there goes another one. Um, RD. Oh, my ultra ego, Lurch Games gets it. <laughs> Um, All right. Anybody want me to switch profiles? <laughs> um, where, where I, I completely, I'm easily distracted. What was I saying? Um, oh, RD04 Dave was a second place in Euro or American Truck Simulator with 62,653 miles. And our second place driver for Euro Truck Simulator. What's that? Is is no? I, I thought something else. TK Never mind. is not happy. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so our second place winner in Euro Truck Simulator is Livestream with 70,961 kilometers logged. Now, he deferred because he's not able to take advantage of it. I think he's having some, yeah, computer issues. And I found out he only he only drove two and a half weeks the last month. His last run was logged on the 17th. So he placed second place. Actually, he was in first place. And then he stopped driving because work picked up, he said, and there's something wrong with his computer. So he did great. Anyway, he deferred. He asked me to kick it on to the next person, which was our recent gift member uh, recipient, uh, Rick Rashid, who logged 52,826 kilometers last month in Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, and he had COVID and didn't drive for two weeks. Excuse me. So that's pretty darn good. Now, one of the things, uh, in addition to first and second place, we also have runners up. So all drivers who, um, who did not place first or second place and are also not a staff member of the Discord have an opportunity to be in the drawing, the runners up drawing, one for ETS and one for ATS. And there are some people who are in both lists. Um, they can win the equivalent of what second place winner got, which is a choice of the custom skin, which is what everyone's been doing, or a solo or a, a, a private convoy with myself that will be live streamed. It's not that private. It's just the two of us. But it would be uh, live streamed or recorded for later upload. So and I understand that most people are choosing the skin. Now, first place winners get the custom skin and half the convoy with me. So <laughs> in the game of their choice. Um, and they'll be able to do it with their new custom skin unless they, unless they don't care. So the other thing the first place winners get is a fancy looking uh, special role in the Discord that includes the, uh, the an icon that is a gold version of the Trucknado icon. So there we are. We're going to do some trucking first, and then we'll do the drawings. So let me do a couple more shout-outs for some other folks that I know are here, I think. I don't... Ah... Uh, I don't think Dusty is here because he's not feeling well. Um, Nehi Sniper was here earlier. I didn't see him in this live stream. I thought he was going to be here. I will give a shout out anyway. These are for flat betters. Isabella Hagloff. It's probably way past her bedtime. She lives in Sweden. Pilot Bro 39. I just saw him on Discord a little bit ago, so he'll be popping in at some point, I hope. Nicholas from Norway and his alter ego Norwegian trucker Nicholas. I see Douglas Williams in the chat. Hey Douglas. XLT588 Gaming. Omega Trucking Channel. Silent Dilemma. So that's all of the flatbedders. We've got quite a few reefer haulers. So let me see if I can notice anybody else right off the top. Tasmified, of course, is, well, he just got it reinstated. Um, same as Lurch Games. Douglas Williams. Where's that guy on this list? I know, I, I know he's on here. Wait. Oh, I think you're a dry van hauler, so you won't be on this list. My bad. Okay, I will catch other people as they come up. Or as we go along, I'll do some more. Okay. Well, Pilot, I got you. Um, let's get to trucking. Let's find a load. Carlin! Carlin is here. 
Let's check off Carlin. One way to get people to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for loads. I'm not going to shy away from another long one. I enjoyed that. I wouldn't mind doing it again. So let's see what we got. Oh, let's just start with the longest one and work back from there. I don't necessarily want to do go up to Spokane, although I certainly could. Ooh, it's actually not a bad run. We'll keep that one in the back pocket. Can you believe running used packaging from Tucson to Spokane? Casper, Wyoming. Cheyenne. San Antonio, Texas, that's only 900 miles. I think I want to do at least a thousand. But you know, Cheyenne I think is not it. I think we're gonna to have to go to Spokane, 1,531 miles. See, I'm also trying to add miles to the VTC. I'm not gonna win any prizes, but hey, there's Dusty. Well, thanks for dropping by on your way to bed, I understand. Get well. We need you driving. Uh, and we need you well while you're driving in real life. Uh, if you don't know, Dusty is a real life truck driver. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. <laughs> I am going to book this load from Tucson, picking up at Amazon. And we're going to take this to Spokane. I like this route. We're going right up the middle of Arizona. This is not all freeway driving. There's a lot of freeway driving on this run. But I I kind of like this run up here on the east end of the Grand Canyon. It's a very scenic drive. Uh, so this is a good three days of driving in the game. Not Not three days of live streaming. Thanks, Dusty. Well, while this is loading up, let me do a couple more shout outs. Cody Old, Cornell R, JJ Man 1982, and Nick. Different Nick. Pedal to the metal, man. Hirschbach. We were just talking about Hirschbach. Turn right. Well, TK and I were talking about Hirschbach. Get ready to turn Speaking right. of TK, he just gifted another membership and address live stream as the recipient. Well, how about that? We were just talking about live stream too. How's about that? Adam says, do some trucks have ovens or stoves for making meals? Nope, not by default. Um, yeah, it's not practical. You don't have enough power for an electric stove and you can't have gas. Um, there's usually a, provis a provision for a microwave. But that's up to the driver to supply. Turn left. In most cases. Finally, we are here. Douglas, to get that truck from a Western Star dealer, you gotta go to a Western Star dealer and look for the 5700 XE. And Bedrock just gifted another membership, and Zud is the recipient. Thank you, TK and Bedrock. You guys got a competition going on? Yeah, they've got must have a gifting war going on. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, um, if you can't buy online, then you have to actually go to the dealer. But you have to find one, too. <laughs> yeah, Bedrock, I think that is exactly how TK wants it to be. Looks like your tracker is uh, glitching out again. It is. I might have to get up and go across the room and turn on my fan. So we'll do that real quick, and I will be right back. I don't know if that'll fix it, but it may help. Yeah, what Outback Jack just said, a lot of drivers have things like that. Um, you can install inverters, I did. I had electric power so I could run a microwave. And I also had a crock pot. I did a video on cooking a pork pot roast in my crock pot while I was driving all day. So that by the end of the day, I had some scrum dilly pot roast. It was great. So I was able to buy a complete kit from Walmart. It had the, the, the pork roast, potatoes, onions, seasonings, everything all in one package. You just, well, watch the video. See here. I think the video is called something along the lines of cooking in my truck or something. I don't recall. Come on, there's a job to do. So what there's are we also a vi There's also a video where he makes himself a smoothie and tries and fails to keep from making a mess while doing it. <laughs> yeah. Use packaging, 34,816 pounds. Oh. It's Picard. Hey, He's lost his membership. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, map. So we do need to get fuel as soon as practical. Oh look, there's a fuel stopper on the way out, right there. Adam, no, because cooking in an RV, you can hook up a propane tank and actually have a, a stove in there. Right. You can't do that in a commercial motor vehicle. It's uh, regulated by the Department of Transportation, and they do not allow um, for any flammable, any containers of flammable materials. No propane, no gas, no much of anything. Let me see if this makes sense here. Nope, that's too far. I'm looking for a place to stop at the end of the day. That is along our route. That's probably too far. Um, That's not far enough. Right. So we'll probably, let's try for this. It's 600 miles and we can do it, but.
Again, the first thing we have to do is stop for fuel around, right up the road a bit. We have got to get this packaging to Spokane. Oh, we're going left. Turn left. Oh, apparently this is a hot commodity and I just dinged the front of my truck. And I just got all the repair work done. Hello, Josh and Jen. Haven't seen you in a while. And there's JJ Man. Welcome. It says, so this might sound like a silly question. What if a driver is a smoker and has a refillable Zippo lighter? Would they get in trouble if they were found with fluid for their lighter? That's a good question. They might. I'm not sh sure about that, but I would bet that you cannot have that. But I don't think that the likelihood of them being found out is pretty slim. Because generally speaking, well, who, who carries a Zippo anymore? But secondly, you can refill that when you're at home, on home time. And um, you can always get the Beck disposables. And keep it in your pocket. Get ready to turn left. Adam says a dent doesn't hurt the truck. Not this truck. Oh, going too slow. It hurts my pride more than anything. Thanks for that, Sean. I, I tend to agree. I, I think that uh, that would be bad news if the, if you got caught with a can of lighter fluid in your truck. All right, we've got a full tank of fuel, full clock, nearly, and a full day of driving ahead of us. Wow, you're waiting all the way back there. Turn left. Whatever floats your boat. That's correct.
right, Limitless Sam, what he said. Smash that like button. No, Adam. Your only options are to have a stick shift in between the seats or to have an automatic. And there's a, a knob for the, usually it's it's on the uh, steering column. Similar to a t turn signal. But on the right side. So if you didn't notice, this route is going to take us north through Phoenix, up to Flagstaff, and then we're getting off the interstate at Flagstaff, and we'll take a U.S. highway north around the eastern edge of the Grand Canyon, or eastern end of the Grand Canyon. And then um, into Utah, and then we'll eventually link up with Interstate 15. I am back. Welcome back. Adam says I learned most trucks have a stick shift in the middle, but there are there but are there options to relocate the shifter so there's no obstruction in the way of getting in and out of your seat. Asked and answered. I did, I did, I, or I'm sorry, read and answered. I did sneak that one in when you were out. And okay. Limitless Sam admonish everyone to yeah. hit the likes. I saw that and was going to comment. By the way, Limitless Sam, welcome to the live stream. Glad you're here. stream for an important advertisement. Hey man, did you see that flashy new icon that Thor's got on his Discord? No, what? What are you talking about? He finished first place in Euro Truck Simulator and got that icon as a reward. Um, first um, place for, for what? Ghost Trip. You were going to say something? Among other things. How did he get that? Well, he joined this uh, virtual trucking company on Boomer's uh, Truck NATO Transport, and he got first place for the month of January for earning the most miles in the game. Wow, that sounds awesome. How do I get involved with that? Well, first, you gotta sign up for the VTC, man. You gotta go to either hit Boomer's Discord channel and sign up through there. Well, that's the only way you're going to get the fancy icon, but you can join the VTC if you uh, search for Boomer's Truck Native Transport on the Chuck's book. All right. Sounds awesome. I'm in. We now return you to your regularly scheduled live stream. Where did you find that stoner? <laughs> <laughs>
She says, you're good with voices, aren't you? Impressed that you got it back. Yeah, you can't bring on. Uh, I don't even think you can bring on like a disposable lighter on an aircraft. Yeah, they're even more anal about it on airlines. Usually in California. <laughs> I think it's I think it's on uh, Interstate Five in the uh, Big Valley.
Well, you need to know if, whether or not the trailer is mechanically sound, which is why you have to do a pre-trip inspection on your trailer. You need to know whether or not uh, it's the right trailer. That's Petro. You want to make sure it's the right cargo, which you may not be able to check if it's a sealed trailer. You just have to go by what the paperwork says. Uh, weight, yes, that's absolutely a factor. You have to make sure it's not overweight, and in many cases, you have to take it to a truck stop, truck stop to scale it to make sure that the load is not overweight overall, plus it needs to be balanced between the, the uh, trailer tires and the tractor tires. In other words, if it's overweight, you have to go back to the shipper, get him to fix it. Gorn, if I get what you're saying, no, this is not a mod. Um, you can buy this um, this truck from a Western Star dealership in the game. You just have to be in high enough level, I guess. Yeah. I had, I didn't think about that, but you might have to, because it's a high, it's a high end truck. But it was just released for uh, in the game by SES just a few days ago. No DLC required. It's just a game update. Right, you do have to have the latest version installed. which should happen automatically through Steam. JJ Man asks, do you like this truck? I do. I'm surprisingly like it. Never been a, a fan of Western Star. There's a lot to like about this truck, though. Victor Frinzer asks, why do they call the truck a tractor? Why not just call it a truck? Because it pulls the load. I.e. tractors it. So it's a tractor trailer rig. Adam 
ask how does this truck handle compared to your other trucks in ATS? Quite well. Um, I like it. It's similar to the uh, T680. I think I'd like to not rear end this um, fuel tanker. By the way, note to the audience, if you would like to buy the moderator a coffee, this time I actually have the link to his buy me a coffee in the description. But I, I neglected to do that in the last live stream. Says, talking about tankers, did you see the new uh, trailer for update 1.47? Is that a real thing? A rear wing? A real thing? I've never seen a rear wing on any kind of a trailer. I don't know what that's about. I, I saw the article. I looked at the pictures. I did a double take when I saw that. I don't know what that's about. How about any of the other real-life truck drivers that are in here? Have you ever seen a wing contraption on the back of a trailer? A tanker trailer?
than anything else unless you have the long uh, tunnel doubles like in North Dakota and then it helps with the flow of air. Victor says, I think it's for when a truck NATO happens. <laughs> We've got a viewpoint coming up. Well, I think I know what this is. Let's check it out. The Glen Canyon Dam Bridge. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Thor. However, could be when it's empty. You might need that. I don't know. I've just never seen them before. Goran asks, are you stopping real trucking? I think so. We'll see. I haven't driven any of the local stuff in a couple of months now, and I don't care if I never do with that group again. I like everybody there, but it's just such a mess. Um, friend of mine is working for another company. He texted me the other day and said that they really need a lot of help. So I might get a call from the manager there. Um, and I like her. I used to work with her at the place that I was at most recently, but she left and went to this other place. But I just don't know that I have time. I mean, there's only two or three days a week that I could actually do it. And that's, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. Oops. And a lot of that business happens on the weekend. Oops. You know, it happens on Fridays and Saturdays. Did I not release? I thought I did. Plus, I have my website business. I'm working on a new project that I just landed. And I got a lot of work to do on that. And I got another one I'm waiting on a, you know, follow up with the uh, potential client. Those, those jobs take a lot of time. But they don't come along every day either. So I just have to wait and see. I like driving, but I'm ready to not be driving. Welcome to Utah. 
And actually, we crossed into Utah when we crossed over that bridge. Man, who stuck a quarter in Nightbot? We are not going to make it to that place that I pinned. We're not going to make it to the interstate. We don't need Make fuel. Gentle John's moving and storage. Okay. That mean they won't break your stuff? Well, that looks like a picture thing. We can look at that in the morning. Oh. So let's. XLT says creepy pick. Probably meaning the sign. XLT. Man, I haven't seen you in here in a little bit. You've been hiding that. Been doing your shout outs and you're not here, man. What's up with that? Man. Susan's back because she All says right. you got my likes. How, how many likes you got, Susan? Well, I can certainly appreciate that being busy at work. So I see a photo thing. Let me see if that actually shows up. Oh, Kanab. All right. Um, I think we'll wait just a little bit to take that photo. Let's do some shout outs first. Big Dave KF, Diane Lyons, Sanjay, The Bucks the Driving Gamer, G Dog, David H74. Bogdan BD, Stobbs, Ipswich, Willie Thornton. Let's see if anybody else popped in. 
that I remember seeing. So do we really have 56 people? Oh, excuse me. My, uh... Jeez. James Brandt. Thank you for the tip. Big Al 2424, one of the newest members. <laughs> All right, Susan. Thank you. And there's Karis Lynn. Is I think Karis Lynn is on this list. There's Karis Lynn. And so is Aaron. Johnny Hansen. MKA Transportation, formerly known as Matt Altendahl. Boomister, Luke Rossi, Mike Kildare. I can just go on and on and on. Let's see. How's that picture looking now? There we go. That's better. Where's my truck? Uh, we should probably get the truck in the picture if we can. Because everything looks better with the truck in the picture. There we go. We got it. Let's get back on the road at 7.25 a.m. Daylight is burning. Snacky 62. Right. I think I've seen, I have seen you in the Discord. Yeah, Thor, when taking pictures, you can uh, hit the space bar and change the time. Um, I don't know if you can in this, for this function. Let's see. Oh, yes, you can. I did not know that. I never fiddle with this. Woo! Flashbang! Flashbang! That's cool. That doesn't change the real time in the game, does it? Oops, that's not what I nope. meant to do. All right. All right, Boomer, that's enough fun with the flashbangs. <laughs> Where's my headlights at? Is your truck running? Sounds like it to me. Yeah. Well, cycle through the buttons and see if it's on. Says that it's got that light that's on. Says it's on. Huh. Where's all my my uh, instrument stuff? Lights off. Parking light or marker lights. Headlights. No headlights. Well, pilot, he says it's the truck is on. Yeah, look, I'm moving. I just had them on a few minutes ago, you know, before last night. See if it can turn on high beams. I tried that Please. too. I mean, I got all my other lights. Maybe a glitch. Oh, but if if it gets dark and it's not lighting up the road, he's going to have problems, people. Yeah. Glitch or no glitch. Tyler Bro says hit F4. Okay.
try adjusting the lights. That was weird. Well, looks like they're there now. Pilot Bro saves the day. Yes, he does. <laughs> Once again, Pilot Bro has saved the day. Here I come to save the day. Get ready to turn right. Turn Mighty right. Pilot Bro. And Trucker King says, now I think all of your cab stuff is back. Yeah. for the green light. We'll do some more shout outs, talk about it. Gear Jammer 89, Hamza Kin, Joseph Davidson, Peter Evans, Jason Kempthorne, Marcus Randolph, Yers, Mouse Triple Eight, Lee Jenkins, Robert Quilter, Grumpy Gruntpa Gaming, Devastator 1942, and we have a green light. Crossing back into Arizona. It's 4.17 in the morning where Goron is and he can't sleep. Well, you may as well spend your time here then. We better not lose any any speed then. Oh. Guess I better pay attention to what I'm doing.
Holland says he's in Holland, Rotterdam. Okay. driving. He's 60 kilometers outside of Montpelier, France, coming from uh, Trondheim, Norway. <laughs> Susan says, why does America need signs that say do not stop on tracks? Isn't that obvious? You'd think so, but it's not. <laughs> Go straight. They put signs, you know, there's a reason for every sign. There's a story behind every sign. Like, at the top of an on-ramp onto a motorway or a freeway or interstate, there's a sign, in a lot of places, there's a sign that says no left turn. Who would do that? Well, it's because some people have. Um, I've seen that a lot in Europe, in Euro Truck Simulator. I never saw one in the United States until I got to Massachusetts. And then I saw them everywhere, or Connecticut. The Northeast. In the Northeast US, I see signs like that. It's because some bonehead turned left on the freeway and went the wrong way.
It's the same reason that they have to put warning signs on coffee cups to let you know that it's hot. Go straight. Keep left. Alright, this is Interstate 15. We are just north of St. George, Utah. I believe. Yep. Cedar City. Coming up on the exit that I pinned the stop at the end of the day yesterday. I need to hop into the map and clear that, or we will be constantly told to back, take the next exit and go back. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to play that game. Let's see. Let's look for a place to stop. Oh, we're going right up by 15. Can we make it here? 363, that's six hours of driving. Can we make that? Okay. Go. Yep. That's what we'll do. Lurch, are you still with me? Because I see a lot of comments going on. I haven't heard anything. Oh, they're talking about... Uh... American rules versus European rules. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't looking. I just saw a bunch of stuff in the corner of my eye. And how crazy some people are that these uh, warnings and stuff are needed. Yep.
every once in a while you got to shift position in your seat. Thanks for dropping by. We'll take that like. Gladly. Adam, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll pass the question to Boomer. About the Kenworth W900 model, is the long body bigger than the standard model? Well, to me, the long body is the standard model. Unless you're talking about the extended frame, in which case, absolutely, it is longer. But the standard frame, which would be either with or without a sleeper, I guess it depends on how you define standard. I suppose people who work only with day cabs, that would be the standard. And so the, the model with a sleeper is probably has a, a longer frame than a day cab. I don't know. And there might be a model with a stretch frame. I'm not sure. talking about sleeper models okay are you talking about standard sleeper versus studio sleeper studio sleeper being the type that's almost like an RV yes that has an extended frame it is absolutely longer but there are even variations of that Where did that come from again? Hobbs, New Mexico. Okay. So you got a lot of miles for that. 2,218. All right. That's going to help our rankings along with this one. Along with the uh, all the miles for the live stream convoy going on tomorrow. Well, and the convoy tonight, live being live streamed. Which reminds me, I need to make sure I can wrap this up before that starts. In an hour and twenty minutes. I'm not in that one, but Trucker King is. Rock just rolled through Cedar City. He is right on our tail, sort of. We're in Spanish Fork. Yeah, 
Man, I can't stay in my lane all of a sudden. So Bedrock, are you is your load a world of trucks load or a freight market load? W900L has four tanks instead of two. I don't know. I don't know what the L signifies. An adventure. Yeah. Svick Dalton says, I, the middle lane causes me fits, so I ended up in the left lane for the most part. Otherwise, I'm leaving to fro. Otherwise, he's what? Weaving to and fro. Oh, yeah. And Bedrock says, Freight Market. Remember those extra logbooks that we talked about earlier? <laughs> They're coming in handy. That means he can catch us. Chris Lynn says the L is for long, and JG Mann says long hood. Okay. Thank you. Now I know. I'm glad we didn't have to whoa, go in because we were in the middle lane again. Contracts or the regular um, freight market or cargo, whatever contracts. <laughs> right. Right. You say that again. Turn right. 
What, what is she trying to do? She says, does it matter which market we pick? No. It's dependent upon where you're going or what you're trying to do. Like you can't go you you can't go on a Promods map with a world of trucks load. Even though the option is there, there there are no external contracts. Right, there won't be any. Like if you're in Promods Canada, there will be no loads out of there. Unless you're close enough to Bellingham or another Washington city for it to pick up. I have had Bellingham pop up when I'm in like, I don't know, Vancouver. Well, if you don't e even have your own trailer hooked up to your tractor, then uh, the um, external market and the um, freight market or cargo market aren't even gonna be options. No, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind they, of trailer you use. They're grayed out. If you... Oh, okay. You can still do external contracts if you don't have your own trailer. But you have to use... Um, it's called something different. There's two icons on the right side. They're both external. Um, yeah, one's external contracts. The other is external market. Right. But they're both World of Trucks loads. That's what I was going with that. The other two are not. Uh, cargo market, freight market, or whatever they're called. But they're uh, within the game. One if you have your own trailer, and one if you don't. And then the other one, it's the farthest on the left of the choices, is you don't even have a truck. And it's it's only local... Yeah, quick it, jobs. Quick jobs, yeah. That's not World of Trucks either. All right, here comes our exit. Oh, by the way, welcome to Idaho. Okay, Thor, that's just confusing. <laughs> He says you can do World of Trucks jobs with Pro Mods, but only in the vanilla map. Good point. How can you tell if you're on the vanilla map or the Pro Mods map when Pro Mods adds cities onto the existing vanilla map? It enhances the vanilla map with Pro Mods scenery, but if the, it's still the same city. Exit right. But it adds cities also. If it's a city that's added, then World of Trucks won't recognize it as far as I know. Oh, okay. Corin's gonna try to go to sleep. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Good luck. <laughs> I was thinking of saying that, but I thought it'd be nice. Right. I think we'll get fuel here, too. No, I don't think we'll get fuel here. We will get fuel here. Bedrock said he had to stop for fuel. He's back on the road. Finding new route. We are just south of Pocatello, Idaho. is in Salina, Utah. Uh-huh. Well, that reminds me. Hundred and sixty-one gallons. I don't even remember how much fuel this thing holds. I wanted to look at the miles I have on the odometer. Three thousand ten. And that is the odometer, not the trip meter, I think. Yep. No, that's, well, both. Because I never reset it.
$864. Woo wee. Adam says it looks like the AeroCab sleeper is uh, longer than the studio sleeper in Kenworth. No. There's different types of st standard size sleepers units. So, um, there's a 60 inch. It depends on the manufacturer, but you got the longer one. It's 60 inch sleeper, and then they can be as short as like 48 or something, maybe shorter. Um, just depends on whether or not there's the the row of cabinet or a a cabinet space directly behind the driver's seat before the before the um, the bunk. Most over the road trucks have that lo uh, longer sleeper but they're not the studio sleeper the the one that I'm referring to as studio sleeper is like twice that long or more could be 160 inches it's long okay oh, there's knee high he says with curtains <laughs> yeah, on the window over the sink. Well, I mean, you have curtains in the front window. You have curtains behind the driver's seat. Ah, oh, okay. Man, this is a long haul for me. We've got less than an hour. We got... I didn't see how far we got to go. We're not going there. Five hundred seventy miles. We can do this. Yes, sirree. So I was gonna look at something else. I thought. Oh, shout outs. It is six eleven. We'll reset. We will reset. <laughs> Forward the time in just a little bit. Farlander, Unit 20, Green Blocks, Ryan Schnagel, Vexty, James Gipe Gipe, Dalton Live, AWR 1050, New Zass, Dylan, Cameron Goss, Bjarn, Vidar, Yatri, Humor, Musica Light, What the Fox Say Zero, Uh, Adam, that depends on what, you know, most trucks just need the two fuel tanks that are 80 to 110 gallons. Um, getting more tanks, it's just a matter of what type of emission do you normally do? Do you need to drive all the way across the country on one tank of fuel? You could probably do that with... Maybe with four. So that seems like overkill to me, but I'm sure there's a use for it. Okay, Avni Shawashti, Dayan Burnick, Popular Monster, Altus, JC Drives, Uladrak, Chris T, Jason Putman, Matthew Bright. Let's start advancing. The clock. Diego Vargas, Robert Alexander, Terry263, David C., Ryusaki, Manny Oi, Gordy Petzel, that's a neat looking sky right there. Sun's coming up, it's getting lighter. That's kind of neat. Let's do this. See if we got headlights. Yep, we got headlights. Bruce A. Have you seen Bruce? On this live stream? I don't believe so. Okay. I didn't think so either. Timothy Parrish. Andrew Black. 
Tazzy291, and we will do some more after a bit. you that's enough of that okay this is the entrance I should have gone down yonder to get out turn left now we gotta wait well that sign did say entry exit so we're okay So pilot, we were talking. If pilot is still here, we we're talking about sounds missing. That's the, at least the second time that that alert signal has choked. I wonder if it has anything to do with this mod. I had that happen too for um, as I was passing a, a way station. Do you have this uh, Preach Bomb mod? Not the updated one. 4.1 modified by pilot? Nope. Okay. Well, must be a new feature. associated with That's annoying. Did you try hitting the F5 to get out of it? Or cycle through other screens, F6, F5? Hey, pilot, I got your, uh, your link. He sent me the uh, 4.2. Is it working? I thought there were some audio issues. Or 
Trevor says there was a was a limit for how much fuel you could have in a truck. He thinks the limit in Denmark was 1,200 liters, or you needed the ADR license. Wow. So, what was the what was the limit again? 1,200 liters. He thinks, yeah. So what they're saying anything over that and you're a fuel tanker? Yeah, that's probably the longest from the manufacturer, the truck manufacturer. These other ones are custom. They're not built by like Kenworth Freightliner or whatever. They're not built by them. These super sleepers that I'm talking about are aftermarket custom sleepers you can get the extended frame from the manufacturer in most cases but to get that you know it's almost like an RV to get all that you have to go to an uh, aftermarket um, supplier uh, vendor green electric trucks are happening I think already to some extent I think the technology is just about mature enough for electric trucks it just depends on how they generate the electricity do you have to charge it at a charging station or do you have an onboard generator like trains do? Anyway, as far as self-driving, that's happening now in testing. And I think it is coming, but it's not going to put all the truck drivers out of work for a couple of reasons. One, the infrastructure is not fully there for self-driving unless they can master the software to drive the truck with existing roads and I know that's what they're working on but they got a ways to go yet I had an opportunity to talk to some software engineers um, that were in Las Vegas for a trade show for that industry 
I was doing Uber at the time, and I wound up picking up a couple of guys who were in town for a trade show. And we talked about it, and I told them my concerns, some issues that I had, and some limitations that I thought there would be, such as when you have a self-driving truck, and it needs fuel, you know, diesel. Well, it's not like it can just go to the truck stop and have a robot jump out and pump fuel and go inside and pay and get a soda water in their flip-flops. Um, and, uh, what's that? All right, Cornell, welcome. <laughs> um, but what he told me or what they told me was they're working on that and that solutions would in involve a couple of things one like they do on the Ohio Turnpike and even uh, the New York Turnpike I think where they have these uh, terminals right off the freeway and the trucks would roll right off the freeway into these terminals, into a yard. And then human drivers would take over in the yard. And that's where they would fuel up. So it would be like a, a dedicated service center just for those trucks. Another thing, because I said there's a lot of things that come up while you're driving that you need a human to deal with accidents that happen in front of you, to you, weather, animals, all kinds of things. And they said, yeah, what that would entail is humans monitoring it in real time at a central hub. To so be like a cubicle worker driving a, a truck, or more accurately, managing a small fleet of trucks. You know, two, three, four, six trucks. They'd be monitoring them. And they would be able to take over a truck at any point in time. I mean, not in a split second. But if it gets into a difficult situation, they could take over the truck, just like I'm doing here. And drive it virtually. To hopefully get it out of the situation that it's in. So there's a lot of a lot of things they've they've thought of. I felt better after the conversation. I felt like it was more doable. I mean, I, I think it's going to happen, but not all drivers are going to be replaced. Over the road drivers, where trucks go from one end of the country to the other, thousand five thousand miles whatever a lot of that can be handled through automation local not so much if trucks had a dedicated lane like if all of this was just for trucks and no one else yeah that'd be a lot easier to do but that's not reality Anyway, as far as my opinion goes, well, if it increases safety, reduces costs, and hopefully still employs drivers in a new role, yeah, I'm okay with that. You leaving? Yep, he says good night all. See you later. Chasm Fide still doesn't feel good about it. There's no shortage of drivers and trucks right now, just shortages of jobs thanks to OTO greedy corporations. Well, there's always been a shortage of drivers, sort of. 
qualified drivers. Um, problem is that there's there's problems in the in the industry with driver retention. And com some companies, some bigger companies, have gotten better about doing the things necessary to retain drivers. It's already a tough job. Tough. It's not difficult to do. It's tough from the standpoint of being gone all the time if you're over the road. Young guys with families, you get a high divorce rate. It works great for older couples because they can usually travel together and see the country and get paid. Especially if they both drive. Yeah, it's kind of a scary thought. I I have to admit, I was very apprehensive about it. Keep left. But I felt a lot better after talking to those guys. By the way, welcome to Montana. There's one in an hour. I'm not on it. There's one tomorrow, same time normally, but I'm not in that one either. I'm taking the day off tomorrow. Or are you talking about your convoy live stream? It streams plural. Well, if you're referring to the ones with, with you and the other guys, first of all, it'll just be you. Well, it won't be you, because you got second place, the second place prize, and you chose the truck skin. But for those first place drivers who get the truck, truck skin and the convoy, that will be whenever they want, more or less. I mean, we gotta coordinate with my schedule too. But I, s I kind of assume that they're gonna want to wait until they get their truck skin. So presumably it'll be after their truck skin is ready and we'll just set a time It doesn't have to be on the nor one of the normal live streams. It can be a, a unique live stream in addition to all of the existing ones. I just had a nasty stutter that made me think the game was gonna crash. We have 247 yep. miles to go. I agree, Wolf. A computer will never be able to anticipate what other drivers are about to do. Uh, that's a fact. And that was the thing that I, um, a concern that I expressed to these software engineers. And you can put a lot of sensors on the, on the truck. You can write some pretty fancy computer code, but at the end of the day, you know, you got local yokel out there driving drunk doing something else stupid, telling one of his passengers, here, hold my beer, and doing something crazy. Especially if they find out, or when they find out, that a computer-controlled truck will react 
to them getting close to them or getting in front of them. They'll do stupid things. <coughs> and someone will die. And the trucking company will get the blame. That is a real concern. Rick, the uh, convoy tonight is hosted by Trucker King, and tomorrow's is hosted by DeBucks, the driving gamer. I need to get back to doing my own convoys with folks. But I have some things I want to put in place first. I started drafting that back in June. And things happened. Not just farming, by the way. Other things. And farming. Could be anything. Could be the system trying to catch up with things going on in the background. Could be Windows doing something crazy. Could be anything. Internet lag? No, because it was me. I noticed it in my game. So that's not internet lag, that's something going on in my system. Could just be that I've been running a long time and the computer gets to a point where it, it needs to do a little housekeeping. Or just the fact that I've got other things running in the background like OBS. Which brings up another interesting point. What happens to one of these trucks when the computer system fails? You get the blue screen of death. Adam says, I found that ARI does make custom sneakers. Yes, I think that's one of the companies I was thinking of. Could be. I mean, that happens with trucks now with real drivers. Not while they're driving necessarily, although it could. They could get hijacked on the go. But there's all kinds of security measures that we learned to, to, to uh, look at when we were um, hauling high value loads. like um, back up to something else when you go to park. Another truck, a wall, a uh, light pole, 
So you can't get the doors open? Never leave your trailer? Don't leave it unattended? Yay! Thor just logged 3,041 miles, or kilometers. You go, Thor. You're a driving beast. I feel like a driving beast today. 1200 mile run earlier today. 1500 or whatever this is this evening. We just crossed into the panhandle of Idaho. Adam says in custom sleepers you can save some costs of cooking, paying for showers and bathrooms, and have storage <laughs> space for your daily needs. Well, the showers are not really a cost, first of all. Second of all, the showers and those things you wouldn't want to use it every day. They're very small and you don't have a lot of water. Um, same thing with the toilet. It's just, it's just got a little cartridge that you have to take and dump out at an RV dump. So that bathroom, the toilet, is not something you're going to use every day. I mean, you might pee every morning or in the middle of the night, in my case, but you're not going to you're not going to want to cop a squat in there all the time as a general rule. And the shower thing would be, I mean, you might use it somewhat frequently, but it's it might mostly just be for, you know what, I couldn't get to the truck stop shower today, so I'm just going to do this. It's going to be that kind of a thing. But Wolf the makes a good point. The more stuff in the sleeper, the less cargo space you have left, therefore the less money you can make. Yeah. Well, you still got the same size trailer. You might not be able to haul as much weight in that trailer, but not by a lot. But as far as um, showers being a cost savings, no. When you buy fuel, you get shower credits. I, I almost never paid for a shower when I was out on the road, because when you buy depending on the, now I think it's like 60 gallons, or it was before I came off the road. You get a shower credit. So if you if you fuel every day, you get a shower credit every day. That makes it a free shower. And you don't even, they, they provide towels and washcloths. You can bring your own. But no, the shower facilities are pretty good in most truck stops. And if you fuel regularly, then you're not paying extra for it. 
So that's not a cost savings. It's more of a convenience. Like, I'm doing a lot of off-road stuff, off the main drag stuff. I can't really get to a truck stop where I'm behind the eight ball. I don't have time to find a truck stop. I'm gonna park at a rest area a couple of days in a row. You wanna be able to get some kind of a shower. It's more, I would, it's, it's probably a little bit better than a horse bath, if you're familiar with that. which is little more than a a water basin and a washcloth. This is a little better than that. As for cooking, yes. That's a huge thing right there. You could save yourself a fair amount of money not eating in the truck stop, not to mention cooking better food. But it's not like your home kitchen. You don't have a lot of options, but you have options. You could you could use an air fryer. Because those custom sleeper units, they come with a beefed up uh, power supply. So you could run an air fryer, crock pot, and you could run that sucker out while you're driving. You just strap it down like I did. I wish they, you could just pull over on the side of the road in ETS to do your sleep. Like you can in real life. I mean, not anywhere, but a lot of places. Like, like the shoulder right here. With their Bonfire games is still streaming. Wow. Yeah, two and a half hours. It's a long one. We're almost done. We're just coming up to our delivery in four, three miles. Keep right. Then we're going to do the drawing. I was just going to mention that. Stay tuned, folks, because after delivery, there's the drawing for the runner-up prizes. Two of them. You have to uh, be number one in the VTC, and number two, you have to meet the uh, monthly goal for one or both games. Go straight. To be eligible for this uh, drawing. Yeah, and we're, right now the plan is to do this every month. Was that you? Because I saw somebody did and I didn't look to see who it was. I was pretty surprised to see somebody had already met the, uh, the goal. Somebody in ATS and somebody in ETS. That's pretty amazing.
all over now. Is it all over now? It's all over now. Kind of on time. There's our parking spot. Hopefully we can get around this way. Hope we can get through here, but let's just try to go the traditional route and go this way. Have more time to do or more space to do a proper setup. Bedrock says hello, Spokane, but I still have 362 miles to deliver in BC. Oh. Well, we are in Spokane making delivery. He says waving as I go by. All right. Blow your horn. Maybe we can hear you. Nobody saw me hit that other trailer. That that scratch was there when we got here. There was a Swift driver here just before we got here. I saw him. <laughs> Wolf says, I didn't see that. And Rick Rashid says, nope, I saw nothing. See, that's what happened. We parked perfectly. All right, how far was this? 1,540 miles. I'd like to hear, well, I could check it myself in a, in a bit. Ooh, man. Green, Black, Green Black says, <laughs> I wonder how your reversing skills are in real life. Uh, better than that, usually. Um, what's up with my game? There it goes. Thank you, Taz. <laughs> Let's see. Let me... 1,540 miles. All right. So gave it all to me. That's awesome. So we came up through Salt Lake City, Pocatello, Idaho Falls. This is all I-15. To just west of Butte, and then this is I-90 now, through Missoula, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Spokane. Thank you, Cornell. What's RON stand for? Romanian something something? It really was just a scratch, Adam. I felt nothing except for the engine conking out. Oh, I was going to look at the, uh, what do we got explored? 45.24, so not much. Extra. Okay. Let me get out and pause the game. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so I need to move some stuff around. We're going to do a drawing.
there it is. The Wheel of Names. That, that should sound more ominous. The Wheel of Names. <laughs> the Wheel of Names. There it is. Okay. Um, let's see. I need, I need, where's my text file? There it is. All right. Just so you know, here's my text file. We're going to do the ETS2 list first. And then there are some people, the, the ATS list is longer. There are some people that are on both. If one of those people that's on the ETS2 list, and ATS, or let me, let me start that over. Trucker King, thanks for the super chats, guys. Um, if whoever wins this first drawing is also on the second drawing, their name will be removed from the second drawing. So, um, this group of people is already pasted into that. So let me pull that out of the way. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, yeah, Susan Arthur is on both of those, and so is Ducky. So am I. And so are you. Trucker King. Wait, didn't you already do that? What am I missing here? Why is it popping up again? Because this was a tip. Oh, a tip. Not a, not a chat. Right. Not a, not a super chat. Susan, what do you need to do? Kick back, relax, and watch what happens. You're already in the in the drawing. Uh, twice. So here's what I'll do. Is the, first of all, I'll shuffle the names. It just reordered them at random. And then I'm going to click to spin. But first I will tell you what they the winner will get they will get the same prize as the second place uh driver got which is a choice between a custom a uh, handcrafted by trucker king truck skin for the uh vtc or a one-on-one -on -one convoy with me now i know which one they're going to choose um that's fine because it makes sense to get your truck skin if you don't already have one. Now, one exception to that is Lurch. Lurch is eligible for the drawing, but he's not eligible for another truck skin because he's already got a custom truck skin because he was involved in the early process and he got one as a result of that. So he, he is limited to convoying with Boomer. I know that'll give him the sads. So <laughs> what? No, <laughs> not that. All right. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Oops. Let's see who is winning the next prize. JC drives. Woo. Um, let's see. I need to write that down, but I'm sure Trucker King is watching. Considering he has been doing super chats, yeah, I would think he's watching. <laughs> but I need to reach out to him if, if he's not here. And for ATS, that is a separate list. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove that list and JC drives is on this list so I will remove him and now we have 17 entries right And just, see, just to make sure you, you, you know, I just copied this list and pasted it into this box. 
So I will do a shuffle. And we'll spin. Ipswich. I know Ipswich is in the uh, Discord. I think JC is too. So, if I don't hear from you, I'll, I will reach out to you, JC Drives and Ipswich, to get your answer. If you're in the, uh, if you're in the room now, please let me know what your choice is. Otherwise, I'll get in touch with you. Okay, Thor, let me answer that question for everyone. Um, you can be the top driver every month. And of the three things that you win, you can only, uh, one of them you can't for three months. Uh, the, the custom skin, oh, you know what? We're looking at something nobody wants to look at. Let me fix that. Um, you just, you cannot get a, an additional truck skin for three months. So like right now for January, you want a truck, a custom truck skin. So February, March, April, May, whatever, whatever three months is, <laughs> April or May, uh, you won for one for January. So February, March, April. Dang, I gotta look at that. Whatever. Anyway, you don't you can't get another truck skin for three months. You can still have the convoy with Boomer and you still can get the, the special role um I uh in Discord. So if you win again in, in February, you'll have top driver ETS two February twenty twenty three. Because now you have the January one. I think he's asking that when he's eligible again, if he wins it, um, is it for, for a, can it be for a different truck or does it have to be for the same truck or either? Whatever truck you want, that is within the scope of trucks we're doing. If, for instance, right now you're the top driver for ETS too. If you wanted an ATS truck, you could have that. Three months from now, let's say you get the ETS Scania or whatever it is that you drive in ETS. Three months from now, you could choose an ATS truck, even if you're the top driver in Euro Truck Simulator. You choose what truck, so long as it's been, so long as it is within the pantheon of trucks that um, Trucker King is doing. Doesn't matter which game, you choose. Uh, well, thank you, LRG. Trucking, <laughs> you could you could have one too, I suppose. <laughs> it's pretty gray. Um. Okay. Um. I think that's it. Unless anybody has any more questions about the drawings, the contest, the the. Uh, Wolf says gray ETC. is burned, though. Yes, it is. I had teenage daughters. I earned these grays. A beard love emoji. <laughs> I've never heard of a beard love emoji. Let me write that down and look that up. I need to look at adding another emoji anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, well, guys, it has been two hours, 47 minutes. Trucker King's live stream is going to start hopefully in 15 minutes. And I'm pretty spent. I'm not live streaming tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to do some video recordings for the coming week. And that, I think, is going to do it for me. Um, please don't forget to like this video or live stream. We've got 55 likes. I know we have more people there than that. <laughs> you guys. Hashtag so nice 48 beer. watching right now. 48 now. They were uh, close to 60 earlier. So, okay, whatever. Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, you have to be subscribed to comment in here uh you don't have to be subscribed to watch of course and uh if oh did i get to all the shout outs no i did not i got some people that did shout outs or i need to do shout outs for paul simpson dustin simbro dirk b99 mr clouds thomas Berger, k blake we dwe charles payne dd901 rogario souza SPK844, Darren Romaine, Wolf Gaming in the house, Cecil Simulations, Doom 3 was here earlier. I don't know if he's still here. Thank you. Outback Jack, Diamond Surge, Mr. Nice Guy, Trucking for Life. Thank you for the copies. Thank you for the super chats, the super stickers, the tips, and for being here tonight. We will see you again soon. And if you'd like to get your name shouted out during a live stream, click that join button, select reefer hauler or flat better. But everyone gets their name in the credits roll, which is coming up now.